on no occasion did any member of the Germanic community envisage such an extent of havoc. Homes submerged, property lost and livelihoods destroyed in the floods. With over a thousand displaced residents, many are struggling to find alternative means of survival or even a place to lay their heads. Till now, the community has not been provided with any safe haven. Hence, displaced residents have had to join other families or find a place to rent. And so we took a deeper look into the community. And what we discovered was indeed heart-wrenching. From a five-bedroom apartment to an uncompleted building, this is the situation for a family of 14 that lost the entire home in the floods. Their home was submerged in water. Now, they have to all perch in this one-bedroom apartment. And as you can see right here, it's untarred. It has no proper means of ventilation. There are some unwanted wood shavings right here as well. Clearly, the room is an entire mess. And what's more, these people have been asked to pay 2,000 cities for a two-year advance of rent. The owner refused to take one-year advance rent. He asked for 2,000 cities. Joyce Vivo is a popular chop bar operator in the community and owner of a thriving cassava farm. Life for her now can be described as a pale shadow of her past. My business is destroyed and life is hard. She now has to sacrifice quality sleep just to make sure her family can have at least the closest example of the life they once had. And from the look of things, this is not going as planned. Some sleep on the veranda. The house has no window or towels. Just close by, we find another displaced family, Ethanam Nyotepe, and six of her children are currently sleeping in a one-bedroom apartment with no electricity or portable water. Things are difficult because my work was destroyed in the floods. Without any form of work, she has to cough up a thousand cities for rent, which she's unable to afford. The stories are sorrowful for many, and if urgent help is not sent, residents of the Germany community will continue to suffer the harrowing effects of the floods. Judith Brown, TV3 News.